Hi, welcome on TV Jesus Christ. I am Alan Rich and you are on Rooted in the Bible. Welcome back. Uh, as you see, uh, we have uh, changed uh, the set. Now we are in a virtual uh, set. I hope you like it, but uh, I know that the, the most important thing is what we are saying and what we are learning in, uh, through the Word of God. Amen. We are on a, ser a very important uh, topic, on a ser series, uh, and it is very important that you watch the previous shows. We are in a series of eight um, uh, shows that was talking about repentance and how to deal with sin. And on, on this uh, show now, we are going to speak about the power of God which is the Holy Spirit but you have to see the previous show to understand so if you're seeing this uh, show for the first time or you see it out of nowhere uh, out of a public site please go to tvjesuschrist.com on the program uh, rooted in the Bible and go to the archives to see the previous show to understand it is very important we have seen in the last program that uh, the importance of uh, repentance and we ended up with two very important uh, verses uh, in Acts 3 verse 19 to 20, sorry, I was uh, in the French part, I'm sorry because I don't know for those who don't know I am doing uh, this I try to do the same show in French and in English so act 3 19 to 20 Paul say repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord and that he may send Jesus Christ who was preached to you before and in act 2 38 to 39 peter say repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of jesus christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the holy spirit for the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off as many as the lord our god will call amen so we have seen that it is important to convert to repent why and what is it so as i say go and have a look if you didn't see see it because we see that if we respect the process of god of the uh, of what god asks us, us to do he will give us the power he will give us a refreshing time amen maybe you are a christian and for a time you had you felt the love of god you were in the power of god and now you feel like dry or that god is not answering you anymore or that uh, you feel that the prince presence of god um, went away from you and this is because the holy spirit is not as present as he was in you before so you have to understand the importance of the spirit of god in you we are going to see that now and we see it's a gift a gift is something that is given for free we are going to see how you receive the holy spirit um, this message is as good for non-christians who come to Christ and convert and receive for the first time the baptism of the Holy Spirit but it is as well for you Christians uh, who have already received the Holy Spirit but need a renewing so you it is very important to understand that when I preach this series 
we see that uh, the Holy Spirit is already was with man from the beginning we know that uh, when God created Adam uh, he breathed uh, life and he became a living soul he gave him his Holy Spirit but then because of that man uh, sinned we see in Genesis uh, chapter 6 verse 3 that the Lord said my spirit shall not strive with man forever which means shall not stay inside man forever for he, he is indeed flesh and his days shall be 120 years we saw that the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament so was outside man but sometime by servants of God the Holy Spirit was on people or in certain people or the Spirit of God was going like with Saul he was going in, in him and then coming out but we have a better promise now that uh, God wants us and wants you to be sealed with the Holy Spirit uh, and the Holy Spirit is not going to come in you and come out and come in again because we are going to see later in the program concerning what is a seal and the sealing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Old Testament we also see uh, that the, the, the prophecies from the prophets they were inspired by the Holy Spirit in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 10 to 11 the prophets have inquired and searched carefully who prophesies of the grace that would come to you searching what or what matter of time the Spirit of Christ who was in them was indicating when he testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glories that would follow so we see that we call it we call him also Spirit of Christ we may call him uh, Spirit of God the Holy Ghost there is different way to call I said uh, call him and I didn't say call it I will explain this later we you must be born again in the spirit to be able to enter into the spiritual uh, world and to understand the spiritual world or what is called in the New Testament the kingdom of God Jesus said in uh, John uh, chapter 3 verse uh, 3 to 5 unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God and in verse 5 unless one is born of water and the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of God so when we see he, he cannot see the kingdom he cannot enter the kingdom we can see the the, the, the word in Greek means yes to this enter to see to perceive to touch we need to be born again in the spirit to get into the spirit if uh, you were not born uh, in your body you won't you wouldn't be able to be in this world so the same if you are not born of the spirit you cannot enter into the spiritual world this is very important I mean uh, when we are born we become son yes when you were born well the woman uh, from whom you, you came out she, she became your mother and you, you had your father yes because you were born from a father and a mother we see in Gal Galatians chapter 4 verse 6 because you are sons God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart crying out Abba father it's mean that when God when you born again by receiving the Holy Spirit you feel the 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 connection um, the filial connection you 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 feel like a son or daughter and you feel that God uh, becomes your father and you can cry out father because you know you are born again from him in, in uh, spiritually 
and more, to every everyone everybody who didn't was not born again but believe in God for them they're going to say yeah it's an entity it's a spirit it's a it's a they, they have a concept of God but when you are born again it's not a concept anymore first of all God comes inside of you and you feel that he is he became your father amen and to uh, belongs to him you need to have his spirit in you it is said in Romans chapter 8 verse 9 if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ or the Holy Spirit the Spirit of God he is not his you do not belong to God if you do not have the Spirit of God amen to have the Spirit of God you just have to obey God and to ask it from God and when you say when I say obey God it means that the only thing that God is asking you is that you believe in the Son in Jesus and as a Christian that you believe what Jesus did on the cross how he deal with your sins I explained that in the previous shows so we can see in Luke chapter 11 verse 9 to 13 you know when he say you when if your son asks you something you can read it at home well when you ask the Holy Spirit to God yes he will give it to you how much more will your Heavenly Father gives the Holy Spirit to those who ask him okay as I said before you have to be if you don't have the Holy Spirit yet you have to be to receive the Holy Spirit you will be sealed and if you receive the already the Holy Spirit you are sealed we see that in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 in him you trusted after you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise amen so sealed it means that you belong to you know uh, they are seals like before when the people they were sending letters to be sure that who was sending it they put seal uh, on the it's like a stamp on the letter and you knew who it was but it also means that you are you belong to you are sealed to God and when you receive the Holy Spirit you are sealed with the Holy Spirit I do not believe that like some are saying the Holy Spirit is coming in a, a person if he sees the Spirit come out and when you ask forgiveness the Spirit of God come back um, I believe as the Word of God you are sealed but once the Holy Spirit is in you you may be filled with the Holy Spirit or you or the Holy Spirit you may not be filled with the Holy Spirit you may uh, quench the Holy Spirit you make you can make him sad so this is a very uh, different things some people they think maybe you may think you don't have any more the Holy Spirit because you don't feel uh, things anymore but you still have the Holy Spirit but it has been quenched it's 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 like uh, uh, you know uh, he has been closed down and he cannot live but it's not because you don't feel it that you don't have it anymore uh, we're going to see that um, in the after the Spirit of God is a power but as I say he's a person huh? he's not a thing but it's what we call the power of God the power of God is the Holy Spirit in, uh, in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 we saw that Jesus said to the disciples before they receive uh, the Holy Spirit you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses to me 
uh, to the end of the earth. So he said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come on you. The Holy Spirit is power, is dynamis. And you can see how Peter was changed uh, when he received the Holy Spirit. The way he spoke with the power and with the might and with the wisdom and intelligence that wasn't from him, but it was from the Holy Spirit he received. Um, as I said, even Jesus, the power Jesus had was from the Holy Spirit. You know, many people, they say that Jesus was a healer or he had some techniques uh, to heal people and to make all these miracles. But the Word of God said that it was the Holy Spirit the power that Jesus had. Amen. We can see that in Luke uh, chapter 4 and verse 14, Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Amen. To Galilee. Hallelujah. It was in the power of the Holy Spirit. And in Acts chapter 10 verse 38, you know how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Amen. So we see that God, uh, Jesus Christ, was healing people by the power of the Holy Spirit. He were healing and delivering the people who were oppressed by the devil. That's what we, when we say cast out the demons by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Jesus was not a healer. He was not doing that with the technique of, uh, you know, Egypt or Middle East. It was, he was doing that with the power of the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit is the same that is in you today. So that's all the time I have for now. Next week we're going to uh, stay in this topic of course this will lead you to understand the power you have in you and without this power you cannot deal with the spiritual world we will see in a few uh, weeks uh, the practical f spiritual fight the warfare that you must face and how to, to, to spiritually fi fight but you need to understand what power, power you have in you and how to make that power uh, complete so that you, when you will go to the field, you will win your fight. Amen. You are on TV Jesus Christ, on um, Rooted in the Bible. I am Alan Rich. I see you next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.